Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to use Material Nodes. It's a really fun thing to do, and it's one of my favorite features in Blender because you can get such cool and realistic effects with it, and it's great for your materials. And um, I'm just going to go into the basics, but we're going to go through a, a little bit of a process and achieve a nice animation in the end. So um, it's going to be long, so I'm going to try to wrap this up quickly within 10 to 11 minutes. So before I get started, please comment and rate this video, subscribe to my page if you like my stuff, add me as a friend, and check out my other tutorials. So that's pretty much it. So let's get started. So we need to set up a scene. So right click the cube and delete it. Press space, add mesh UV sphere. Press OK. Press tab to go into edit mode. Press W, subdivide because we want a lot of vertices and the original ones aren't, that, uh, aren't enough. So press set smooth, set smooth after that. Sorry, I'm going a little fast. Now press space, add empty, and press Z so we can see it better to go into wireframe mode. So now we have an empty, and we want our light to track to the empty. So select the light, and then shift right click it. The well, shift right click the empty, and then press Control T, not Control P, but Control T to track to, and press track to constraint. Now let's change this lamp to spot, and press buff shadow so we can see where it ends. And wherever we drag the light, it follows the it tracks to the empty, and the empty is in the middle of the UV sphere, so it's perfect lighting. So I'm just going to set up two lamps. So put one on one side of the uh, of the camera, and on the other one on the other side too. This is a great way to set up scenes, and this is how I pretty much set up most of my scenes. Okay, take this right here, zoom in, bring it down, press RX, press RXX twice, and the reason you press it twice is so it can rotate on its own axis. Okay, there we go, press Z again. Okay, now let's set up the background, turn this one to a pretty dark gray here, press blend and then turn this one to a lighter gray, so it blends and it gets a cool effect. So it's just not this weird bland blue that everybody has in their normal stuff. You don't want that. And then press F12. Okay, and then you get this nice scene. Perfect lighting and everything. Now I'm going to turn this to 5. I'm going to turn these two off. Keep these two on. All right, yeah, keep these two on. And uh, yeah, turn this to AVI raw so that when we render it, we can turn it, we can watch it with the video. As a video. Okay, so click the UV sphere and let's set up the materials. Press add new. Now before you do anything else, press nodes and then press add new. And what this does is, is that it sets up the materials to be edited in the nodes editor. So we don't need this anymore. So let's change this to the node editor. And as you can see, we have our materials. Now here's the material node and the output. The output is what renders and this is what is here so we have our first material. Let's fix that so you want to turn this into the uh, a really red just put red on one. Now we want this one to be kind of shiny so turn the specularity up, turn hard up about there. Okay now we're going to add a texture. Press texture, add new, clouds and turn the hard noise on. And we, You don't need to change anything else with that. Now I'm going to zoom in and uh, it's not showing my computer's glitchy when I run the program but you can see that there's pink where the lighter part of the clouds material was so I'm just going to zoom back out fix that go here to map 2 turn color off so now it, the texture doesn't affect the color and press nor and that stands for normal and then turn this factor up and then it makes the um, the material that we had it makes it affect the the mesh so let's turn this to uh, 6.5 that's pretty good for me so let's add another one that's all you need to do for this one so let's add another one so up here press space add input material put it down here and press add new so now we have a new one make this one a mix between yellow and orange right between the middle there it's not quite all the way yellow it's not quite all the way orange let's turn spec specularity and hard down that's all we have to do for this one. So now we have these two materials and we want to mix them together. So press space, add, color, 
mix put it right there we want the yellow color to be uh, the secondary color so put that down here color two and put this color right here to color one it's really simple to put color to color and we don't have a factor yet and I'll show you how to add a factor for it to affect it now just put color to color again right here nodes are really simple to use once you get used to it and if you look here it made an orange shiny bright thing that doesn't look good at all I'll show you what happens if we render it give it a second yeah it doesn't look good at all it's just weird so we're gonna make a factor affect it and what we're gonna use is that texture that we the cloud texture that we use for the red material so press space add input texture now I wanna uh, erase this link so just drag over that line and it erases it now put value up to the factor here okay and now put texture there and now look very cool effect now it has these weird like kind of reddish veins and I'll blow this up for you and you get this really cool effect and you can change how it mixes by just pressing all of these like you and divide let's see here multiply overlay sorry my computer trips but mix is perfect for here so let's press F12 and get a cool effect it turns out really well and this is very simple anyone can pretty much do it and look at that you get a really really cool shiny weird thing but it's not quite good enough for me so I'm going to move the input over and remember this is all very basic okay and this is just te uh, material nodes this isn't compositing the whole image now press add um, let's see uh, what should I put in? Ah, oh, that's what it is. Add color, RGB curves, and then put this mixed color to that. So everything affected here will be affected by this. And then put the color to curve here. Sorry, my computer's running slow. So now we can change some stuff. So click here, it makes another line. And let's drag this up about here. And check it out, it made it brighter. Let's move this down here. It made it, the yellow come out more. This makes the over here to the right. It's the red pop out, but I want it to be about there because I I want the vein. I want the red part to seem almost like veiny. Oops, that's too much. Perfect. So now you can add a bunch of other stuff too. So I'm just gonna show you. Uh, put input um color. Uh, let's just put in vector curves here. Do the same thing. Okay. Put this here. Now let's mess around. It adds a weird greenish to it, as you can see. And that's cool. Gives it a cool effect there but I'm just showing you right now what you can do it's so many things you can do and so many different effects but I'm just gonna keep RGB curves for now since I want it to be very simple and of course it starts acting up okay. don't have a lot of time left so let's go and animate this and then I'll render it for you so go ahead down here add modifier and you want to go to displace and you want to put the texture name in that we use for or you can put in any texture I've already have, have um, displace tutorial so I'll go ahead and look at that if you need to so what texture do we use we use this texture so just press control C to copy and put the texture in there okay and now it affects it go to 3d view and that's way too much so just put it 0.1 and that's cool so to animate it uh, add another empty and I'm gonna turn this one from arrows to plain axes okay so what's the name of this let's turn this to DISP for disk which stands for displace Oops, sorry wrong one okay so press the sphere again change local to object put in disk like I just typed in 
and now press it and wherever we move it it affects the UV sphere so press I location make sure you're in frame 1 go to 150 and press G to grab on the y-axis five times uh, five blender units I location press Alt A and it moves and it's really cool effect and I'm going to render it make sure you have all the settings like I do just put this to 150 make, I'm gonna make sure it's on AVI raw I'm going to animate it and then I'm going to put it post it right now so if you have any questions just message me subscribe to my page if you like my stuff and keep watching and thank you for watching this one alright thanks